election violence and votes by inform the major challenges witnessed during the 2019 general elections. This was contained in the final report of the Clean Foundation, which highlighted major challenges faced during the presidential and governorship polls held in February and March this year. The report is calling for major reforms in Nigeria's electoral process, which includes the use of technology and more voter education of the electorate by the political parties. The election witnessed deaths across some states during the presidential election, such as River State, Akwaibo, Ebony, Kogi, and Zafra states. The governorship elections also recorded killings in Rivers, Kogi, Ebo, Akwaibo, Oyo, Ebony, Benue, and Enugu states. Five persons were reportedly killed in the same locations in Kana local government, and one person in another West local government area, both of River State while in Bay, Kogi, and Kassana states recorded two deaths per state. The supplementary elections further compounded the scale of deaths with special focus on Kano and Bay states. Elsewhere, our observers reported caused cases of deaths of voters allegedly perpetrated at the instances of political talks and other unidentified criminals. These incidents and related discussions on election violence show the need for lasting electoral reform to incorporate the use of technology and reduce contact amongst the electorates. Two is the issue of voter trading. The sheer scale of vote trading in the 2019 general elections has resumed an alarming trend. The 2019 general elections witnessed massive incidences of vote trading observed in most states across the regions of the country. For the governorship elections, Green observed incidents of vote trading in states such as Ekiti, Lagos, Ebony, Enugu, Niger, Benue, Imo, Kwara, Kogi, and Kassena states. While for the presidential election, it was witnessed in states like Kogi and Akwaibo states. And we dare state that almost all the political parties were involved in vote trading, vote buying and selling, and that it was not restricted to one political party. So it's something that we really need to work. The question, the big question we need to ask ourselves, what is the cost of the vote of a Nigerian? We have very serious problems because there are too many factors that could trigger elections. Too many factors that could trigger elections. And what does that indicate? Indicate that the culture of democratic election is far from being institutionalized. The second major is that institutions responsible for democratic elections are weak and subject to compromise. The third factor that the, it also tells us is that indeed political parties do not carry out their responsibilities in terms of voter education, in terms of uh, educating the citizens, and mobilizing citizens to vote for their policies and programs rather than their personalities, or resorting to undemocratic means of gaining election. So in the context, some of the recommendations of Clean Foundation arising from that is that we need a very comprehensive political electoral reforms which will enhance the evolution and consolidation of democratic culture and practices in the country.